Here's what Keemstar doesn't know about me. I've actually met 1,000 different Keemstars in my life, so I know exactly how to deal with them. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And real quick, exciting announcement is, I promised you all in February, I was going to start doing monthly charity live streams for a good cause. And this Saturday at 10 a.m. is going to be the first one the first good cause that we're donating to is you know what you know what i'm not even gonna explain it i will let that taylor explain it project beauty share collects hygiene cosmetics and different beauty products and they distribute them to different nonprofits. so people overcoming abuse homelessness a lot of the times we don't prioritize beauty products and it's not just about makeup or cosmetics it's about having the confidence to go out and do the things in our daily lives that a lot of us just wanna feel put together and feel like ourselves. And sometimes makeup or just showering and having shampoo and conditioner can make us feel like that. So yeah, that's right. This Saturday at 10 a.m. I will be going live and we're going to be raising money for this awesome organization to help give women hygiene, needs their makeup and all that stuff to help them feel confident and amazing going out trying to find jobs and all that kind of stuff and here's a little twist for you i know y'all love me following makeup tutorials so my beautiful girlfriend tristan is going to help me find a that taylor tutorial to follow on live stream and all the monies that we raise will be going towards her donation fund all right so anyways let's get started one thing that a lot of people forget about my channel is not only do I offer, you know, mental health education and coaching, but this whole thing right here, you guys see that word right there? That is advocacy, all right? So what does that mean? I know that there is a huge, huge stigma around mental illness, okay, and mental health and getting help for mental health. So when I see people who are stigmatizing or further stigmatizing mental health, Part of what I do is I will call it out and raise awareness towards it. And Keemstar is a primary example. Now, there are three things that I know about Keemstar and people like Keemstar. One, they have a huge ego. Two, they have poor emotional regulation. And three, they have even worse impulse control. So why did I at Keemstar in this tweet right here after I heard him referring to FoozyTube as a crazy person? Well, here's why. I knew, I knew that Keemstar would actually see this and get rather than rather upset about it, all right? So what he proceeded to do was quote tweet me by saying, SDFU, you fake therapist mofo. You have a thousand videos on mental health and you act like you're a licensed therapist or doctor when you're really just a drug addict loser preying on the depressed people to make money, hashtag fraud. Now, is this something that somebody who cares about mental health would say? Probably not. With millions of followers, Keemstar just publicly referred to me as a drug addict loser. So are we made to believe that he actually cares about mental health? Because if so, <coughs> Yikes! That's gonna be a fucking yikes for me, holy sh- Also, by baiting Keemstar into this, he did give me quite a bit of exposure. So while Keemstar does have what I'll call an interesting fan base, some of his audience may have came over and researched my channel, and they might have found some tools and tips that might actually help their mental health. So Keemstar, I appreciate you for that. So, assuming Keemstar watches this video, what's his next play? Let's see. Does he tweet about it, thus giving me more exposure and helping my mission to reach more people to try to help them with their mental health? Or does he continue to expose me, trying to tell people things that they should already know about me? Will he expose me for not being a licensed therapist? Well, that's totally fine because I've admitted that I'm not a licensed therapist multiple times. And the journalist that is Keemstar, if he can find one clip of me claiming to be, I will be amazed. Will he make more fat jokes? Well, in case you didn't notice, 
Me being overweight is no secret. Will he once again claim that he knows my, my true motives, that I use YouTubers' names in my titles to get more views? Well, this is also not a secret because I made hundreds and hundreds of videos talking about mental health, which wasn't getting views. And then I switched my strategy and now I am happily helping over 100,000 people make sure that they're paying more attention to their own mental health. Will he again claim that I'm exploiting the topic of mental health for money and views? Well, this would be quite an interesting thing for a journalist to do without any type of evidence. But even still, I'm fascinated by this and confused by the point because would we say that people like Katie Morton or even Todd Grande are exploiting the topic of mental health just for money and views? I respect Katie and Todd a ton, a ton. I love what they're doing on this platform. But I will say this, to go in with the assumption that no clinician has ever exploited mental health for profit would be a very, very ignorant statement. Will he claim that I'm actually a drama channel? Well, that's another interesting topic, especially coming from a channel called Drama Alert. You see, the interesting thing is, if you compare our two channels, there's a difference between the two. By the end of a Keemstar video, once you finish watching, you don't take away anything from it. All it is, is what is titled drama, right? It's not really anything different than the trashy tabloid magazines that you see on your way out of a grocery store. Now, with my videos, although you're lured in, believing it might be something about drama, at least by the end of it, we get into the solution and you could take something away from it that might actually help you with your mental health. Now, all these tactics that Keemstar might try to do to me, they might backfire, so maybe he won't do that. Maybe what he'll do is turn to manipulation. So, something that Keemstar has done many times is try to send his audience to go harass other YouTubers, like he's done to me. And I get comments like this. Now, the thing is, getting into the mental state that I'm in, comments don't affect me. And the reality is, if Keemstar is trying to make sure that I don't get views, it'd be a very, very bad idea to send potentially millions of people over to my channel and give me views. Now, that's something that he might not wanna do, but he might turn to one of his worst manipulations. And what this is, is this is trying to get smaller commentary channels to go out and attack other people. You see, one of the reasons that I talk to you all about checking in with your value systems all the time is that sometimes what we'll do for fame or money or success is that we'll start to sacrifice our morals. And Keemstar knows that he has this power over smaller commentary channels, so he starts to play them like pawns and have them create videos about other creators. Now, hypothetically, hypothetically, let's take Prim Inc's video about me, for example, all right? We know, we know that Prim Inc is a huge Keemstar fan and vies for his attention. We know that Prim Inc has publicly tweeted calling Keemstar daddy. We also know that Prim Inc follows Keemstar on Twitter, so he most likely knows that Keemstar does not like me or my channel. We also know that Keemstar publicly tweeted out about, Kim, about Prim Inc's video, quote unquote, exposing me. Now, given that Prim Inc is a young man, he might have got excited by this, and that might explain the lack of research that went into his video that he actually made about me. Now, is it possible that somebody like Keemstar with that much power would try manipulating a smaller, younger creator like Prim Inc into making a video about me? I don't know, but hey, that could just be a theory. At the end of the day, I'm not afraid of Keemstar because I know him probably better than he knows himself. And as somebody who's advocating for mental health, as long as he's making fun of Demi Lovato and her drug addiction, as long as he's calling Erica Costell the 2019 Eugenia Cooney trying to reference an eating disorder, as long as he is saying that FoosieTube is a quote-unquote crazy person by talking about Fousey's 
bipolar disorder and also exploiting FouseyTube for his own gain in his little documentary, I'm gonna be right here to discuss these issues. But Keemstar, if you do happen to see this video and you decide to tweet it out, please, please, please do me a favor and help promote the charity live stream event that I'm doing this Saturday at 10 a.m. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And in return, I promise you that if you decide to do some kind of charity fundraiser or live stream, I'll be right here to help promote that event. And I truly, truly appreciate your generosity. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And don't forget, this Saturday, 10 a.m., we are doing a charity live stream, and I'm gonna put on some makeup. Uh, by the way, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing, and I'll see you next time.